the electricity sector in Europe is really changing quite rapidly. And there's three big reasons for it. One is that electricity is becoming a more and more important part of everyday life of all of us. Think about information technology, the internet, and so on. The second one is climate change. Europe wants to protect against climate change. And a big part of that is introducing more and more renewable energy, wind and solar, into the electricity system. And finally, the third big reason is customer choice. Smart meters and smart grids enable us to influence much more how we use electricity. These three changes are coming together and are creating big challenges that we're trying to answer. Security of supply is really important for the customer. The light must stay on, the internet must be available, and so on. And we're working on new rules, Europe-wide, to make sure reliability for the customer of electricity supply can stay real high. The second benefit is climate protection at affordable cost. The cheapest power plant all over Europe meeting demand at any given point in time. And then, of course, the benefits of a Europe-wide market also include greater competition and more choice for the customer. The main challenge is if you introduce so much renewable energy into the system that the wind doesn't always blow and the sun doesn't always shine. So you need to get from an area where there may be a lot of wind and sunshine at one time and there's a surplus of electricity, that electricity to another area where there may be a deficit. Get it to the customer at all times. And for that, you not only need a strong European grid, you also need very clear rules. Rules for connection, rules for operation, and rules for how the market functions. That is the main challenge for the future. Two main things are being done. Obviously, we need a strong European grid to bring the power where it's needed. But my focus today is what we call the network codes. Those are common rules that apply Europe-wide to all market participants and that become law. Rules that keep the system stable from a connection viewpoint. All the power plants help to keep the system stable, but also from an operational viewpoint. Do we work together to keep the lights on? And last not least, from the market viewpoint, the electricity market needs to be defined so that it can do its magic of getting the power from the best spot to the customer at the right time. We're proud that the experts of the transmission system operators and NSOE have been entrusted with the task of writing these rules, of actually drafting them. Regulators, member states, and European Commission have their say also before they can become law. But the central part is actually drafting all the details, making sure they fit together, making sure they work to keep the lights on and develop the market. We, of course, also consult with stakeholders, power plant operators, customers, and traders to make sure these rules fit their purpose. The main expertise, however, is the one from the transmission system operators whose job it ultimately is to keep the lights on.